a lot of people have uh, had, you know, perhaps strong opinions one way or the other. Some even in here in uh, Utah and Salt Lake City are saying he, he got away with one here. I'm just, you know, quoting what some people have been saying. Either way, however you might feel about what happened here, how do you feel about what the justice system was able to do? Well, I've, I've, through this whole process, have been absolutely nonplussed about the judgment system as far as the way certain people wield it. I'm sorry, our, our, our local DA, Sim Gill, went about it incorrectly. His prosecution team, at the end of the day, knew their witnesses were liars. They knew uh, Mark Sesson Jensen was a committed fraudster and that he changed his testimony multiple times. They knew he was going to testify about Hughes, and yet they let him do it anyway. I mean, I expected that from someone like Mark Jensen, but not from a prosecuting team. So that was disappointing. But at the end of the day, uh, we have a jury system, and that worked. And, and I'm grateful for that. Uh, are you and, and uh, Mr. Swallow left with enormous legal fees, even after being acquitted, and in your case, having the charges dropped? Absolutely. Mine are in excess of a million dollars. I, I can only imagine uh, John's are higher than that because uh, it's very expensive to take three lawyers through a month of trial. And so he had, he had uh, I'm sure, more than a million. He's one now state law says that the state has to pay his attorney's fees. And in my case, they dismissed before. The, the You know, I got a chance to have a judge dismiss it or a jury quit me. So uh, I'm out trying to find a way to, to have to put my life back together and pay those as well as uh, reestablish. I mean, you, you can only imagine what impact this last four years has had on uh, attorneys, my, John and I, our ability to maintain a living for our families. And uh, that's what happens when, when, when things like this go, go awry. And, I, you know, I know people comment and everything. The bottom line is nobody knows the whole truth. Nobody ever heard it until now. Uh, the jury heard it. They, they heard both sides. Uh, and... and so ultimately, the, the truth will out, and I'm grateful for the media, you guys and others who are going to let us uh, you know, get the truth out there and answer people's questions. Yeah. Mark, I know it's, it's obviously been a very, very difficult time for both you and John here. Uh, but, you know, as you, you, you kind of alluded to a little bit, looking back, I mean, this has been years in the process. Now, we've been talking about this for, for many, many years, and, you know, your guys' both your careers here in the state of Utah essentially were just done, just like that, like completely finished so, so how how are you supposed to try to get back onto the treadmill again and, and go out and, and, and make something happen for you and your family? Yeah, a, someone once said, "Where do I go to apply now to get my reputation back?" Uh, because particularly today, with, with you can't take back off, off the internet for four years. I mean, I lost my job four years ago because of news stories. Before this had progressed very far, but just because of the news stories went out, my firm uh, that I'd waited, you know, and served public for a long time, and finally could try to take care of my family and let me go. So. Uh, all you do is you, you move forward. You know, I started a couple of businesses. I'm sure John has people supporting around him, and you know, we, we'll move forward. I'm, and, uh, and and frankly, I don't know what John's going to do, but I believe I have to go out there for our, and hold the county and the state and the and the federal government, the FBI accountable. Uh, and so, in, in in that kind of a civil rights lawsuit. That'll be more of an opportunity to, to uh, get the truth out. So you'll sue the county. And the other thing I wanted to ask you, Mark, is what what comes to your mind when I ask you, what did you want to say to us when the trial was going on that you couldn't say, that you might be able to say now? Well, uh, it's, it's there's so much out there. I mean, for obviously for all those years, there was one side of the story. And I don't fault the media for that. The, the prosecution in this case, the team, they leaked their uh, search warrant affidavits. And I, we point out, fact after fact in search warrant affidavits that once we saw the evidence were outright perjured statements. Uh, we could compare them to the, the, the interviews of, of certain witnesses they quoted and, and they misquoted deliberately in search warrant affidavits. So tell the truth about that. And, and, and the big one was everybody heard so much from Mark Sessions Jensen, the convicted fraudster, making up stories about extortion and bribery and uh, shakedowns and all these things he, he made up. And we can prove it because for three years sitting in prison after we put him in prison, he didn't have any of that story. It all was made up after a phone call that he had with a City Weekly reporter, and I've got him on the jailhouse camp. I could play it for anybody. I may play it for Doug Wright today, saying, I am going to get vengeance. I am going to get these guys back, and we can show the pattern exactly what happened next, sending his uh, his supporter and friend in to meet with Sim Gill and start telling lies. And that's uh, that can all be be proven by the facts we have in our hands. And you mentioned vengeance. Is the, is a civil lawsuit around the corner for you? 
Uh, it is, and I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel vengeful, but I know what this did to me and my family. I mean, my, I still have a traumatized daughter who had four officers with with vests and guns point guns at her in her bathroom and yell at her, and march her down the hall with her guns pointed at her. I mean, if they'll do that to me, and I and they'll do it to anybody, and I don't, I didn't expect special treatment because of. I was attorney general at one time, but they know me. They know that I am not uh, a danger or a threat. And by the way, they knew I wasn't there. So if something like that happens, it can happen to other people. This can happen to other people. And until you hold them accountable for it, it, it won't stop. So it's not about vengeance. It's about, you know, it's about justice at the end of the day and making sure things like this don't happen again.